The Detroit Red Wings hosting the New York Rangers, and the Rangers are minus 200 on the money line. The Red Wings are plus 170. The over-under is six goals. The Rangers laying a goal and a half are plus 130. The Red Wings getting a goal and a half are minus 150. Now you can see the line is slightly different behind me. Your casino may have something different, and depending upon what side you have, if you have multiple options, hey, shop around. That's why there's a ton of casinos. Now, the Rangers are on a three-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three in their past 10. And in those games where they were favored now to win the game by two, they are 1-3. and three. And you can see the scores of the Rangers' last three games, uh, last five games, excuse me, beneath me. Now, the Red Wings are on a three-game losing streak. They are 2-8 and eight in their past 10. In those games where they were an underdog and could not lose the game by two, getting a goal and a half, they are 3-5. and five. Head to head, the road team's on a two game winning streak. Detroit is actually six and four in their past 10 meetings against the Rangers. The favorite is six and four. The under six is 2 0 oh, 2. So the over under is going to be one of these things that it either hits or it misses or pushes. The Red Wings are on a one game winning streak, and the last two games were decided by one goal. Give me the Rangers with the money line, the Red Wings with the goals, and the under. I won against the Rangers last night because I didn't think they were going to be able to beat the Penguins twice because, you know, the Penguins seemingly own us. But I'm very, very happy to be wrong about that. So let's see if I'm right here. Let's see if I'm wrong.